Then I see Queen Mab hath been with you. She is the fairy's midwife, and she comes in shape, no bigger than an agate stone on the forefinger of an alderman, drawn with a team of little atomies, athwart men's noses as they lie asleep. Her wagon spokes are made of long spinner's legs. The cover at the wings of grasshoppers. The traces of the smallest spider's web. The collars of the moonshine's watery beams. A whip of cricket's bone. The lash of film. Her wagoner, a small grey-coated gnat, not half so big as a, a round little worm, pricked from the lazy finger of a maid. Her chariot is an empty hazelnut, made by the joiner squirrel or old grub. Time out of mind, the fairy's coachmakers. And in this state, she gallops night by night through lovers' brains, and then they dream of love. Oh, a courtier's knees that dream on curtsy straight. Oh, a lawyer's fingers who straight dream on fees. Oh, a lady's lips who straight on kisses dream, which off the angry mab with blisters plagues, because their breaths with sweet meats tainted are. Sometime she gallops o'er a courtier's nose, and then dreams he of smelling out a suit. And sometime comes she with a tithe pig's tail, tickling a parson's nose as a lies asleep. Then dreams he of another benefice. Sometime she driveth o'er a soldier's neck. And then dreams he of cutting foreign throats, of breeches, ambuscados, Spanish blades, of hurls five fathom deep. And then anon drums in his ear, at which he starts and wakes, and being thus frighted, swears a prayer or two, and sleeps again. This is that very map that plats the means of horses in the night, and bakes the elf flocks in foul sluttish hairs, which once untangled. Much misfortune bodes. This is the hag when maids lie on their backs that presses them and learns them first to bear, making them women of good carriage. This is she. True. I talk of dreams, which are the children of an idle brain, begot of nothing but vain fantasy of substance as the air, and more inconstant than the wind who woos even now the frozen bosom of the north, and being angered, puffs away from thence, turning his face to the dew, dropping south. 